okay, so Devin, um, pretty much like Devin with an IN, but open source pair programmer. Apparently it's really good now. Um, seems pretty easy to set it up. Let's check it out. I felt like we tried it on stream a month back or so. Yes, we did try this um, a while ago, but it's changed a lot since then. When I tried dev on ON before, it was only in the terminal and I tried it with local models, but uh, I've recently learned that these local models are good at doing much. So, but now we've got an actual user interface. Well, we should have a user interface. We actually got something running. Let's go, let's go. Shout out that guy. We're going to upvote his shit, man. Thank you, Sunny G. We need to put in our API key. All right, give me one second. Let me put in my API key and shit. All right. Um, okay, so we can start with a project directory um, because, yeah, a cool thing about Devon now is it can work off existing projects. So how sick is that? Really sick. We can make a new working. Let's make it. Yeah, let's just create a new. I'm going to create a new folder called Devon Workspace. Boom. Make a personalized website that runs the game of life. The colors of the live cells should be green, uh, glowing neon green. Okay, that's it. That's the only starting command I'm going to give it. Let's see what it does. Oh, holy shit. It just made that starting file so fast. I guess it's not streaming the output. It's kind of just giving it in one go. Boom, we got CSS. Boom, we got HTML. And you can see here we have a really nice editor. It looks just like VS Code. Um, probably is a fork of VS Code. Uh, and then boom, we got the JavaScript now. It's going one by one, creating these files. Super fast. This is uh, running with Claude 3.5 Sonic. It's waiting for my response. That was so quick, guys. That was less than a minute. I've created the personalized game of this. Um, oh, sick. This is it here. Uh, we can press start. Wow, it actually made the game of life. Um, really cool. Glowing green um, cells as well. Now let's give it some feedback. Let's say make the game canvas full screen and remove all the buttons and headers. The game should start automatically. This is so good. Devon seems really powerful, guys, um, based off my first attempt. Boom, you can see it's making edits to the code now really fast. Changed it. Let's see. Refresh this. Oh, guys, perfect. Look at that. It's been perfect so far. Um, it took my advice. It removed all the buttons and made this full screen. And we've got glow green cells just like i started i said now um make the initial configuration to be to be in the form of text reading tech friend let's see if we can do that so i want the initial cells to be like text reading tech friend this is also something that devon did um let's see if we can do it oh big big change here um you can see this is the tech friend configuration it's got the right cells that it needs to initialize and it says it's updated it boom these edits are so fun as well like compared to when i was using a tool like pythagora that would literally take two hours to create the project i want and um okay that may be work we should let's say have a count down timer before the game starts it should take by uh, three seconds so it was really fast i couldn't really see the initial um text so i'm telling it now to create um a countdown timer so we can see the initial text which should read tech friend but yeah this is so cool man um every day we're getting closer to a really good software engineering ai that can do everything um obviously this is relatively simple to what a real life paid professional software engineer kind of would be doing but compared to where we were even five months ago where we could barely make a snake game now we're making like the game of life with a custom starting position three two no 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 Okay, during the countdown, the initial configuration should be visible. Reading tech brand initial. Okay, so it did do the countdown, but we couldn't see the initial text, which is kind of like the reason I wanted the countdown. So is this Devin AI? No, it's Dev on D E V O N. It's an open source version of the Devin that we saw. It looks so clean compared to Devika and Open Devin. Yes, dude, Devika and Open Devin were so slow and like like hard to run but to be fair that was months ago when i tested them i'm sure they're a lot better now um even devon this devon was a bit was a bit annoying to run the first time i ran it entropy research devon here this is the link if you just google entropy research devon it'll come everyone hates mosquitoes 